Blazing Bros. Hey guys, Blazing Bros here. Okay. A few moments later. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna plant our first seedlings. We're gonna do the jalapeno pepper. I'm gonna let the boys uh, have a little swing at it because I wanna teach them how to garden. So you all ready? Let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to Start off with a really good seed starting mix. So right here I have a seed starting mix. And I'll show you guys what we're using. So right here we're using a natural and organic seed starting mix. Just putting some of that in there. We have our seeds right over here. And we have our journal ready to go. So let's go ahead and fill the trays. It's a really good activity to do with your kids, especially if you're teaching them how to garden. The soil is so soft. Just pour it in, baby. It's soft. All right, so we finished filling the trays all the way. Right now we have them filled pretty much to the top, but when we wet these trays down, they the soil will sink down a little bit. So we want to leave a little space at the top, a quarter of an inch from the top. All right, you can go ahead and water it down. And when you water it down, you're gonna just saturate the soil a little bit, not too soggy. We don't want it just soaking wet but we want it nice and moist, okay? Go ahead and pour it. Uh huh. All right, so, so once, these tr once you've soaked the uh, trays, with, we're gonna let the water drain down just a little bit and we don't want it to be soaking wet. So we just let it come down just a little bit before we add our seed. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to place two, about two seeds in each cell. wet in the soil first. Um, I have a little box here and I just took my seed starting mix and I just wet it down, saturated it down. I had to get my hands dirty. I couldn't really use my gloves because I really had to get in there and feel what the soil um, was kind of feeling like. So this might be the part that you might not like if you don't want to get your nails dirty. Um, there are plastic gloves that you can wear if you don't want to get your hands and nails dirty though. So after I got it nice and moist, then the boys um, filled the tops of the trays right here. We placed our marker in. So this is, these are the, um, this is the seed starting tray with the top on. It's nice and warm and as you can see I have germination. Our very first seedling popped up. We had a few more. As you can see the container is keeping it really nice and warm inside. All of the water and, and condensation is happening inside. The, the soil is still really really moist. It's not drying out. The seedlings are turning towards the sun. And, and then what I did was I would rotate my tray. I would turn it around and you know let them grow on the other side as well. Like if they were a little shorter on one side than the other. And 
Alright, the first leaves are the ones that look kind of smooth with one single vein down the center and then though that's a true leaf right there with more veins in the leaf. And the little brown powder that you see down there, um, that's cinnamon and that keeps away the, um, the gnats if you want to try to keep those at bay. I didn't have any problems, not any at all. So now I'm just thinning out the weaker peppers oh, and I'm going to cut near the very base of the plant. I'm going to remove it with my scissors and I'm not touching the stem. And the ones that were not as strong, I thinned them out. And the ones that were strong that were in cells together, I actually kept them. I just separated them out. Here's one and here's a really strong one. So I'm just going to let him go. Oh hurts so bad to have to do that you guys all right so I want to show you guys how I separated out my transplants um, after they reached um, a certain point and got their true leaves I then wanted to transplant them out of their original seedling seed starting trays into larger um, cups and I just used some really inexpensive styrofoam cups to do this the first thing you really want to do is just to punch holes in the bottom of the cup and that will ensure proper drainage for the plant. Um, the next thing I did was I took my little popsicle stick and popped it up through the tray and out and used the same um, seed starting mix that I already had and I've moistened it down and I'm going to show you now how I'm going to separate the plant. So very gently, very carefully, I'm just going to loosen the soil just a little bit because they do have established roots. And I'm, going to, I'm going to grab this, the leaves and not the stem, just kind of separating out just some of the soil just so I can see where the roots are. And then I'm just going to gently separate. I'm not pulling. I'm letting it separate on its own without any force so that I don't rip the roots. And there you have it. They're separated. So now I'm just going to fill the cups um, and I'm going to create kind of like a little um, hole for them to go into. All right. Then I'm going to pick it up by this, the leaf, place the root down into the, the little hole there and I then just kind of cover it and I'm play, placing it down deep covering the stem all the way up to the top of the, the first two leaves of the pepper. And just giving the pepper a lot more strength and stability um, so making, it, making sure that it's going to stand up straight as much as possible. And then I'm just you know pressing just gently down into the, the soil. covered and you know peppers don't mind if you take the soil up to the first two leaves and there you have it that's that's how I do it just like that and here's an example of the peppers once they've been transplanted I have a lot of peppers these are a blessing so I'm sure they're gonna be a blessing to many people as well so after transplanting them, and I'm doing my tomatoes and onions and um, a lot of my, my seedlings the same way. Once they get their true leaves and they're ready to move up to a larger cell, then I'll place them in these larger cups. And then after this point, they'll grow and they'll be ready to go in the ground. So after, you know, they've been hardened off and I've been hardening them off already since they've got their true leaves I take them out in the Sun for a couple of hours back them out maybe into the shade and I've just been every day hardening them off so that they'll be ready to go into the ground alright guys that is it for this video I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you learned something from it if you are a new gardener all you veteran gardeners out there give me a thumbs up for my very first 
planting of my jalapeno peppers and if you have some more tips for me and more um, suggestions please leave your comments in the comment section down below I would love to hear from you I would love to hear from you if you are a gardener or if you're not and you would love to get started um, so I hope this has been enjoyable for you make sure you get out there garden with your kids if you have them they will absolutely love it your grandkids whomever a neighbor just get people involved and maybe it will encourage others to garden as well all right guys we'll see you on the next video bye